What's up guys, my name is Liam, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Lethal Gaming Gear Neptune. This is a new speed pad that they've had in development for quite some time now, as they've been working to perfect it. So, how's it turned out, and most importantly, is it going to be the perfect gaming speed pad for you? Let's check it out. Before we get started, I did want to let you know this was sent out to me by Lethal Gaming Gear. However, everything you're going to be hearing in this video is going to be my own words and my own opinions. Here's a look of the packaging, how it arrived to my front door. Of course, this was inside of a box, but this does actually come rolled up. And I have been using this for a little over a week now, and it has taken some time to flatten out. And I do kind of still feel like over here on the edges that there is still a little bit of a bend to them. But this does come available in four different sizes. The one that I have right here on my desk this sits at 500 millimeters in width by 500 millimeters in height and this is sitting at three millimeters in thickness they are featuring this brand new Japanese rubber foam base and the performance of it honestly feels incredible it is very lightweight and airy when you're actually picking the pad up moving around itself but the elastic properties on this they rebound very quickly and even though it is plush and you can push into it it definitely is a little bit more on the firmer side so the overall experience that I've been getting with this is it does feel like a mid style pad but again very easy to push into when you need to get any additional control or stopping power. It also has been sticking to my desk very nicely as I've been gaming on it and I haven't had any issues with it moving around on me during my gameplay. The stitching on here is done incredibly well and it does look like it sits slightly below the surface. They also do have their logo down here in the bottom right hand corner and it is slightly raised up off the surface but the lettering on it is very thin and even though you can feel it on the bottom of your mouse, even when I were to put my mouse over it, you don't really notice it so much being an issue of it there. And I do feel like it is small enough down here in the corner to where it never seemed to get in my way. And when it comes to the surface, this is honestly a very unique feeling surface from anything that I've had any experience with out there. It is made of polyester, which is the same thing that the Artisan Raiden is made out of. However, to the touch, they do have pretty different fillings. It is kind of flattened out, but you do get a pretty decent sense of texture there. I was going back and forth, and as I was testing this out, when I rub my finger along the Y and the X axis, they do feel very similar to one another. However, I do feel like I feel a slight bit more of texture across the X axis. And when I did get this out of the box, I did find that it did have a break-in period to it, and you can feel the texture on your skin. I did try using this with a sleeve, and with the texture, I do feel like the sleeve does not really work out that well on the surface. It does add some additional friction and it tends to get kind of caught. But when it does come to the gaming experience, the performance of the surface really is incredible. It has a low sense of a static and dynamic friction, so it has quick glide all around. I did find in my gameplay as I was using this, it was easy to do any type of micro corrections or doing any type of up close fast tracking with the surface. However, I do feel like with the texture that is added on here, it does add pretty different unique characteristics from something like the Raiden, for example. And even though the speed of both the pads are actually really similar to one another, I don't feel like it feels as slippery as the other speed options when it comes to the overall static friction itself. And it's very clear that as you start to put more weight on top of your mouse as you're using this, or if you're pushing into it more coming to a stop, it does give you a much greater sense of control and stopping power. And I do feel like there was a very small difference in the actual glide speed of the X and the Y axis. And as I was testing this out using different types of skates with the additional texture on here, I do feel like if you are using larger set skates, it does give you overall a little bit slower of a glide and give you some additional properties for stopping power. And if you're using these smaller skates all around, it just feels Feels like a little bit quicker of a glide but again you still get actually really decent control and stopping power even if you are using these smaller skates just all around a bit of a quicker glide with lower dynamic and static friction. All right, so first off, when it comes to comparing it to the Lamzu Energon, the Energon has an incredibly smooth surface and it is very soft to the touch. So you do notice a difference with the surface of the Neptune with having a little bit more of that texture. And the properties of both of these, they both have incredibly low dynamic and static friction. The Neptune does clearly feel faster all around than the Energon does. But since it does kind of have this like soft I don't know, it almost feels like a little bit more of a slippier 
type of a surface there when you're going down in the micro adjustments again with the friction on this if i were to push into both of these even though it isn't that far apart from each other again i do kind of feel like i can get a little bit more control over here on the neptune but let's go ahead and drop the glide comparison between the neptune and the Energon. all right and finally let's go ahead and throw it up against the artisan raiden and this is an x soft the same thing goes for the raiden with it having a little bit of a softer touch on your skin on the surface where again you do kind of feel a little bit more of the texture over here on the neptune and the base on the Neptune here, it does feel a bit more firm and solid to where on the Raiden, it does kind of feel a bit more plush. And it does feel like it is easier to sink into the surface when you do push your mouse into it. And though both of these pads have that incredibly low static friction, they honestly feel really similar to one another. To me, the Raiden does feel just like it's a little bit more slippery. And again, over here on the Neptune with that texture, I do feel like I get slightly a little bit more control the harder that you're to actually push into the surface itself. So in the testing that I've done, even though these two are incredibly close to one another, I did kind of feel like I was finding that the Neptune just felt like it was just slightly a little bit faster all around than the Raiden while still being able to give you more control. So let's go ahead and drop the glide test between both the Raiden and the Neptune. All right, guys, so that about wraps things up on the standard Lethal Gaming Gear Neptune. Lethal Gaming Gear always does just such an incredible job when it comes to the actual quality and the testing, the thought process behind the development of their products and with the Neptune, it clearly stands out. There's no exception here. So if you have any additional questions or feel like I left anything out, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed watching this video and are interested in seeing more videos like this in the future, please drop this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.